So here I am, gang, answering all your questions live from Queen's College in Cambridge, where I'm up here being a little bookworm, studying away, and I thought I'd get cracking into some of the questions that you fired ahead. So Julieta444, what's the best thing about being a professional rugby player? Well, I would say being paid to... Being paid to ultimately do something that you love is probably the best thing about it all and then being able to turn up every single day with your best mates and play in front of incredible fans, an amazing stadium, packed the rafters uh, in big high pressure games. So that is the best thing for me about being a professional rugby player. Martin X Rugby, who is faster over 40 metres in their prime, me or Shane Williams? Well, it depends what we're chasing for. Yeah, that's what I say. You know, if it is for the number seven bus, nobody was beating me for that on my way home. However, if it's on the rugby field, running away from all those scary forwards, Shane's got me in the bag. I'm afraid. Sam Law seven three five. Great question, by the way, mate. If you were to choose one rugby international to climb with you, who would it be and why? Um. I would say I would love to climb with... Who would I want to climb with? Well, I mean, the obvious is obviously someone like Joan Lomi because of the fact that he was just such an icon and um, uh, and the background and the things he did for, for rugby. You know, it would be unbelievable to climb with him and just hear his story. Obviously, the world misses him and his talent, so he would have to be right up there. And if not him... Who else would I want? Maybe maybe Dean Richards. You know, just to ask him about all the old school banter and equally what he was thinking about with you know the old Bloodgate scenario and and what happened uh, and what the sort of trend of thought was because it was a not a particularly great moment for rugby but a fascinating insight into the the thought process of somebody that would win at all costs. So either Jonah or Big Dino. Matt Franklin, what's my training plan? Well, as you can see, I'm not shy of the odd cake or two, seeing as I've got a couple of sleeping policemen underneath my chin. Um, but I basically, it's, I, if I'm honest, it's one of the biggest unknowns of figuring out how to get ready for Everest. Um, you know, in terms of what I'm doing, I'm just sort of trying to stay fit the whole time and try and mix it up. The biggest thing is for me just to stay on my feet as much as I possibly can. So constantly be walking around. Um, staying on my feet, just trying to get my body used to the fact that I'm going to be walking obviously non stop, carrying weight load on my back for seven, eight, nine hours a day. So that's probably the biggest one. And then just making sure I do quite a lot of you know, things like heavy squats, um, sled pulls, things like that, just to get used to that sort of slow, steady, heavy pace about everything that's going to come our way uh, when we go up that big bad boy known as Mount Everest. Louisa Ham, zero one. Am I ready for frostbite? Well, I'm really hoping I'm not going to get any. Um, and equally, you know, am I ready for, for frostbite? It really depends on where I'm going to get it. But uh, in all honesty, you know, the crucial part with all expeditions um, is to make sure that you look after yourself and you've got the right kit um, and that you're managing your body as the best as you can so that you can avoid moments like that. Obviously, frostbite is going to end your expedition full stop, so I don't want to go anywhere near that stuff. So make sure I keep myself and the rest of the crew tickety-boo on our general kit admin and day-to-day -day admin. Rebecca Snook. Am I ready for the wit and sheer determination that Jess Cheeseman will be bringing with her? Well, you know, she is Irish, you know, and she was bold as brass the other day, dancing away when we are up in the Munros. However, you know, they got thumped by England the other day and you know, she's going to have to eat a little bit of you know humble pie um, so hopefully that will silence her a little bit but she's a fantastic person and a great character to have in the team and to have on the trek really looking forward to going up the mountain with her and the rest of the gang um, and I really hope she brings that sort of positivity particularly obviously that Irish dancing when we're halfway up Everest <laughs>